you've been called the retail king. Mm. Do you think that you know you've achieved that peak? Have you got to the top where ambition doesn't gnaw away at you anymore? Yeah, sure. I, because I've thought a lot about. It. I've actually, um, you know, contemplated all this all my life. You're only here once, and and so you you go through the different stages of your life. I'm 73, so I've gone back through all those stages and had to think about what I did, where I wanted to go, where I am now, where do I want to finish up. I'm a lot closer, closer to death than birth. So it's, it's, you know, you've got to sort of, you think about where the hell you are. And, and probably when you get over 60 and 70, you think about it a lot more because you know that you could go any day. Half my mates are all dead. So um, you just try and um, do the best you can. Don't get too agitated. When you start to get a bit agitated, you think, why am I agitated? I'm better off than, you know, financially and health-wise than most people. I've outlived half my, you know, best mates. And, and so I shouldn't get too agitated. So I'm here at the horse sale the other day. Horse sale starts. And the first 20 lots are terrible. So I'm suicidal. And, I, and I'm thinking to myself, why am I suicidal? Because um, this is my, one of my passions and hobbies and it's, and it's just fallen over. It's crashing in front of my very eyes. 20 lots have gone through and there's virtually no sales. Everything's passed in and anything is sold is sold for nothing. And you think to yourself, and then miraculously, it all picks up, goes like, goes right off. It's fantastic. And then at the end of day three, we're up on last year, we're selling everything, and it's fantastic. But, and then I, I think about the emotions there, and I think, wow, I got agitated. Why did I get agitated? Because, because I, I hate failure, I guess. I'm looking at it, and I'm seeing it crashing around me. And, and I, I become a bit emotional about that. Why? If the whole thing fell over and we sold no horses, it's not the end of the world. Mm. But, but that wasn't, my head's there in, in that success band. And, and so I, I, it's, I, I get a bit distraught. Got that killer instinct? Probably. Um, again, see, people, people, ask you questions and you try to give an honest answer. And um, that's difficult because you're not even sure the answer. Even you can do that. You know, you sometimes people ask you questions and you give them an answer. And then sometimes you'll think back later, was that the honest answer? Or was it what I wanted to say or what they wanted to hear? Or trying to be honest with yourself is quite difficult. I mean, I'm not... I'm not sure sometimes when I answer a question whether that's 100% honest or not. Because maybe you could ask me next week and I might give you a slightly different answer. We'll put a disclaimer on the video. So, yeah, don't worry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay.